just one cub at the moment who briefly stopped suckling to have a look at us and with that natural curious gaze of a, of a growing hyena cub. Just can't quite seem to get comfortable. There we go. About a week and a half, I would say, older than Corky's cub. Look at that face. So wrinkly. So, oh, oh, oh. Still a little wobbly. It'll be interesting to see how soon these cubs learn to come up to our vehicle. Because of course they haven't got any older cubs to learn from and that's how that's how it all starts as the older cubs teach the younger cubs to make their way towards us. David, no, I haven't had a chance to properly check whether we've got male or female cubs here. It's a tricky thing with young cubs especially. That's why the researchers themselves will never go off just one quick assumption as to whether or not a cub is a male or a female. They have to independently, three of them, have to see the cub's genitals properly and come to a conclusion, an agreement, as to whether or not it is a male or a female. And even then, it's still possible to get it wrong. It is something very, very tricky with hyena cubs because, of course, female genitalia look very similar to males. This cub's reached the oversized ear stage. Yes, that's your mum's ear. It's the perfect chew toy. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to be scared of us. Barbara, you want to know if new males in the area will pose a threat to hyena cubs? Male, in, male infanticide, in other words, males killing young cubs, is very, very rare in hyenas because of the dominance of females over males. Even a male that has made its way into the, the clan's territory in the hopes of joining the clan will not be brave enough to approach a den and pose a risk to the cubs. The biggest risk to cubs at this age is other adult females, particularly for low-ranked cubs, where there are high-ranked females with cubs at the same den. So sometimes high-ranked females lose their temper with low-ranked cubs if they get a little bit too boisterous with their own cubs and they will turn around and grab the little cub and the low-ranked mothers can't do much about it. They cannot really challenge them. So that is a sad reality of hyena nature. Not all females do it, though. Yes, indeed, Minamu. Hyenas are one of those rare mammal species where they are born with a fully erupted... or rare mammal predators that are born with a fully erupted teeth. <laughs> Exploring. Always back to the safety of mum. Not quite old enough to be too brave yet. So what that means is that when two cubs are born to the same litter, they have established their hierarchy before they even emerge properly from the den. They fight with each other. They often come out a little scarred and scratched, especially when you've got two members of the same sex. So if you've got two females in a den or two males, they will fight fiercely to establish that dominance before they even pop out. Oopsie! There is, there was a very common, uh, very common story that um, siblicide was common in hyena cubs, that they would often kill members. If you had two females or two males, one would always kill the other in a display of dominance. That's not true. It does happen, but it is very rare. Uh, so siblicide theory has long been disproved. So it's not typical. All that will happen is that the hierarchy is established. Oh, and we're still thirsty. Or hungry, I should say. Mum's milk is some of the most nutritious milk of any of the mammal species. Oh, come on, it's a raisin. Or a prune. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Mm. 
very coordinated. <laughs> Play with me, Mum. Play. Play. Play with me. I'm full of energy. I've just had the best meal ever. Oh. Look, 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 Mum. Look, I'm running. I'm running. I'm bouncing. Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lily. <laughs> Ouch! Did you get a bit carried away there by any chance? <laughs> Fell over and immediately ran for the safety of the den. Lily, who is one of our regular viewers, Lily is seven years old and would like to know when hyena cubs will get their colours. And the answer to that, Lily, is around about two and a half months to three months old, you'll start to see the spots clearly on the shoulders. Then as they get older, the spots become clearer and clearer until all that's left is little dark feet. <laughs> this hyena cub is giving us a, a lesson in, in the grace and agility of hyenas. Are you slipping? This is a very steep den. This is a positively palatial den that they're at. A termite mound with very steep sides. Aiden, I would love for you to hear the sounds that the cubs make because yes, indeed, they do make a noise. They make a sound known as a squittering. Now, squittering is a sound that they make when they're begging for food and it sounds like they it sounds like a baby dinosaur out of Jurassic Park that's what it sounds like it's a ridiculous sound it's a screeching grating and incredibly loud you can't even believe that a cub that small could make that much noise so they have proper tantrums when they want food they will also whoop so already at this age they'll start to imitate adult behavior and it's so sweet because their voices aren't adult voices yet. They've still got little baby voices. And you know how hyenas make that ooh, contact call. I don't want to do it too loudly and frighten the cub. But when they're little like this, they go, ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's very sweet to hear. Hopefully the more time we spend with them, they'll actually show us that. They'll give us a demonstration. If I remember correctly, Pretty's Cub November used to love doing that. Heidi, funnily enough, we do actually know where the rest of the clan, or at least some of the clan members were this morning. They were hanging out around the lions all the way to the east of Juma. We had Ribbon, we had Ribbon's daughter and Tima. Uh, there were a couple of Heidi. <laughs> What's the word again for the, the skin on the elbow? I can't remember now. That's what the cub's trying to chew on pretty. <laughs> Big yawn. I can't think now. <laughs> but it makes the perfect chew toy for a hyena cub. But hyenas, uh, hyenas in a clan don't necessarily all stay together in one big group. So although the clan will unite to chase lions or for kill or to chase away rival clans, they don't, they don't stay together all day, so it's not like a lion pride. They'll hang out together in groups of two or three or maybe five, and they'll go to sleep in thick drainage lines or underneath bushes. But around about now, this would be the perfect time for them to be up and about and active. And I wouldn't be surprised if before the end of <laughs> Safari Lives, ouch, Corky comes back to feed her cub as well. You are horrible. You are so horrible. Vegas cat lover, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for that reminder. The skin of the elbow is called a weenus. I'll say no more because that is what the cub is trying to chew. <laughs> I've watched you fall over your mom's foot at least five times while we've been sitting here. How have you keep forgetting that, mom, that your mom's foot is there? <laughs> he 
<laughs> now the only time you'll get to see this behavior is when one of the <laughs> one of the female <laughs> Very difficult to focus on, on making coherent conversation about this when you've got cubs doing 360 degree spins. Supernova, hyenas do not make their own dens. They will actually, oh, or did the thunder scare you? Oh, good aim. Is that scary weather? Rumble, rumble. <laughs> they will take over old art fog burrows or, or old warthog burrows, but the little cubs will also do a bit of excavating themselves. So you'll see they've got quite sharp little claws, and they use those and to dig their way into little narrower tunnels to help to keep them safe, because the entrance to the den is quite wide, but it's important that they have tunnels they can go into. That will help to hide them away from large animals that could be a threat, including other female hyenas. It's also how they end up with bald patches. One of the big reasons they end up with bald <laughs> patches. Are we up, pretty? Mom, don't leave, Mom. Minamu, yes indeed, hyenas will hunt at night or during the day. Most often at night, because the darkness suits them, creates panic, panic, panic and pandemonium with prey species. Oh, so it's scary now. I'm going away. Oh dear. Instinct immediately tells it, back into the safety of the den. But hyenas do hunt during the day, most often when it rains. that again creates a situation where the prey finds it very slippery very disorienting and they can use their stamina to chase down and exhaust the animals that they're trying to hunt so remember for our new viewers hyenas are not scavengers spotted hyenas are not scavengers brown hyenas yes striped hyenas yes but spotted hyenas are predators and they mostly will catch, hunt and catch their own food. It's getting a proper bath from mum. Despite desperate efforts to move down further into the den away from her tongue. As the cute family scene unfolds, I think there's a good chance that Pretty's going to vanish off, which is what Hosanna has done to Brent this afternoon. Let's see where he is and if he's had any further luck with his search.